we have seen what vectors are and why they are important for us. Now we also want to do computations with them, of course. In this video, you will learn how you can add two vectors and how you can multiply them with a scalar. You can view this from two ways, from a geometric point of view, so with a picture, and from an algebraic point. We've all seen in this video that both viewpoints yield exactly the same result. Suppose we have a vector with two components, vector A. If we want to describe the vector, we give both components like this. A1 tells us how far we are going in the x direction, and A2 is telling us how far we are going in the y direction. And the red arrow over here is the vector A. How can we add two vectors? So what are we going to do? If we have A and B over here, we make another copy of B, and we make another copy of A, so we form a parallelogram, and A plus B is just a blue vector over here. So basically, you take the tail of B and put it to the head of A, and then you get like this, A plus B. That is how you construct the sum of two vectors. And why exactly in this way? Well, you can view those vectors as displacements. Suppose first you walk along A, and then you look, walk along B. Where do we end up? Well, exactly like this in A plus B. So there is physics behind the way you add those factors. Same holds for velocities and accelerations. That's about the addition of two factors. What about scalar multiplication? Well, if you have A, how do you get two times A? Well, you go in the same directions, but twice as far. Well, this probably makes also sense, because if you uh, want to know uh, two times a force, you just have twice the force in the same direction, but twice the amount. Same for minus one times A. You just take A, A you go exactly in the opposite direction. And if you think a bit of this, this probably also makes sense, because you, if you go first along a vector A, and then you go along minus A, you are exactly back where you started. So if you would add them up, you end up at the origin again. So that's why you define minus A like this. That's from a geometric viewpoint. But how do you do it algebraically? A plus B. Well, if you write down A in terms of its components, and B in terms of its components, you just have to add the components A1 plus B1, A2 plus B2, and that corresponds exactly to this construction over here. So those definitions of addition, in fact, are the same. Scalar multiplication, C scalar times factor A, C times A1, A2, you just multiply both components of the factor, which uh, uh, corresponds, like here, if you compute two times A, you get two times A1 and two times A2. So that's exactly the same as the uh, uh, geometric definition over here. So you see, those computations are not hard at all, just addition, just multiplication, like you do it already for many years. But the ideas behind it are actually, well, not so trivial and quite fun. For your computations, you will we'll probably have no problems at all with factor addition and factor time scaling.